what's up bosses it's coach Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys as you guys can see from the title of this video this video is going to be all about four ways that you're getting screwed by vendors in 2021 now I'm going to try I'm going to get through this information fairly quickly because I do have a coaching session in roughly about nine minutes so we're going to quickly go through this information so the first way that vendors are getting over on some of their clientele, the first thing that I want to say is this is not all vendors, but many vendors are doing a lot of these things. And I just want you guys to peel your eyes open, be mindful of these red flags. And just remember this video when you are dealing with vendors and or in communication with vendors. So the very first thing is I want you guys to be mindful of replica advertisement. A lot of vendors use a lot of replica advertisement when they're uploading on their social media, especially Instagram. Instagram is really big. And when I say replica advertisement, I'm speaking of more so mock images. A lot of the times vendors, overseas vendors use Instead of using manufacturer images, they use celebrity images or influencer images. Uh, people who have like larger following, they'll try to use their images in order to bring in customers or clients. A lot of the times, uh, I don't personally feel like vendors do this with ill will um, or bad intentions. I just think they utilize this as like a, a marketing tactic, but in my opinion when vendors do do things of this nature it is false advertisement because if you do decide to follow follow uh, uh, up with this vendor and move forward with this vendor and purchase that particular product that they're advertising once you do receive that particular product that product is going to have so many differences it's kind of like if you order a Louis Vuitton authentic Louis Vuitton bag and then go to a website like DH Gates and order an identical Louis Vuitton bag from from a distance it's going to look the exact same but once you really get up close to that the quality is going to be a little off the pattern is going to be a little off things aren't going to look authentic um compared to what you thought you were getting so I kind of want you guys to understand that when it does come to like replica advertisement and mock images I want you guys to be very mindful of that okay the next one is going to be vendor reviews I don't want you guys to get sucked into re the review section of any website AliExpress Alibaba DH Gates any of that I really don't even want you guys finding vendors on any of those websites and I'll make a video um, on ways that you can go about finding vendors for those who are interested but um, a lot of the times people or companies pay for positive reviews so if you see a review section and it has nothing but positive reviews nine times out of ten they're either filtering their reviews they're paying for their reviews or sometimes owners will go on there and make a billion different email addresses and put reviews up themselves I don't put it I don't put a lot of stuff past a lot of people okay so I want you guys to be mindful of review sections and don't a hundred percent put all your eggs in one vendor basket just because you see a nice review section quick story time I was actually watching a tiktoker and she basically said she was on Amazon and the Amazon store, the hair store, the hair store or the hair vendor that she was ordering from on Amazon had about 4.6 ratings as far as their store goes. Um, she said the hair looked beautiful. The reviews were all amazing. She ordered the hair. The hair looked nothing like the images that they showed, the review images that they showed. And by the time she received her order and went back to make her own review, the score dropped to about 2% or about two stars. That is what I mean when I say uh, people pay for other people to go on there and review their product just so they can make a sale. So I want you guys to be mindful of that. The next thing that we're going to discuss is pricing. A lot of the times vendors tack on extra discounts. The only thing is when vendors tack on discounts, you have to ask them. So a lot of the times if you're making bulk orders through your vendor, depending on how much of a order that you're purchasing you're ordering it at the wholesale price but if you ask them once they're tallying up your uh, ending total 
hey can you give me a discount and all you have to do is say can you apply a discount they will apply a, another discount at the end but the thing is you have to ask a closed mouth does not get fed honey okay and that's pretty much regarding pricing vendors tech on extra pricing the more you order or the larger bulk order that you do order i've had orders where i've only ordered maybe like four bundles at a time and i say hey can you tag on that discount and sometimes it may be only four dollars difference or five dollars difference but it's a difference and it's an extra few bucks that you get to keep in your pocket the very last tip or not tip but the the very last way vendors are screwing over customers in 2021 is going to be is going to be inconsistency as time progresses if you have an a1 day one vendor i want you to remember that a1 day one vendor if you're not on their ass they will slack vendors are people they that's their job so you have to think about it if you don't report certain problems or if you're not happy with certain services it's just going to go under the rug so i want you guys to know whenever you guys are receiving your bulk orders or anything like that i want you guys to report the re, report good and bad information if you see something as something minor that you just don't like report it because even if you report minor things that informs your vendor or the sales associate that's working in the factory that you you know that you deal with as far as um making your orders that lets them know that like hey this owner's on her business so i'm going to make sure when i'm packaging up her orders i'm giving her the best of the best i'm not just throwing her orders in the bag i'm making sure everything is put together accordingly so that you don't have bad experiences later down the road another thing is i want you guys to always inspect your products especially if you're ordering large quantity of products make sure you inspect them make sure you go through each each bundle and just make sure everything looks good make sure everything's there's no like weird funky stuff going on you know you know what i'm saying vendors do slack it's going to happen, especially if you're working with the same vendor for years or months long spans. You do have to be on their butt sometimes and don't ever make them feel like there's, you know, it's okay to slack because at the end of the day, a vendor does in a sense work for you. So like I said, if there are problems, make sure you do report them. And even if they're doing an amazing job, I always say report that too, because if you do give them a pat on their back, that just lets them know like, Hey, I, I'm doing a really good job. And who doesn't want to be praised when they're doing a good job and working their butt off. Okay. But that is going to be my four ways of how vendors are screwing some of their customers over in 2021 i will have more videos like this in the future so if you did like this video don't forget to thumbs it up leave me some comments below if you have questions or if you you've had crazy experiences dealing with vendors during your journey of entrepreneurship and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel check out amanijelina.co to see all of my ebooks and webinars it's along with workbooks if you want to gain a little extra knowledge in this particular field but other than that i will see you bosses in my next video Mwah.